welcome back to DMOP Garage. And if you're new, we are working on the 52 Crankenwagen Barn Door Ambulance. One of 11 in the world and the oldest bus in Australia. Now, what we're doing today, we uh, last episode we were doing a few bits and pieces on the motor. We got the gearbox in just to catch you guys up. But if you want to watch that episode, you can check it out in the playlist. Uh, we ended up getting all the bolts and nuts and all those suspension componentry done. We also used the factory clamps. I bought some new ones of these guys just because, you know, I want to keep this thing 100% original if I can. So got to order a Bowman tube. We've got to do a few things to get the clutch in there, but that's done. And today we are continuing. All this stuff here has to be powder coated in a satin finish. So uh, I was just deliberating whether I was going to go gloss or satin, but I think satin was the what they used back in the day. I mean, it was an enamel paint. I don't think they had, I don't think powder coating was even invented back then, but there's our powder from Oxitec. Thanks, Scotty. We got, that stuff came in a day and a half. It was fast. Uh, we've got some, we've got some gloss as well, but this is the satin. That's how it comes. Just you guys, if you're interested. Comes in a big bag like that, and we're ready to rock and roll. So we'll go and, I've got to get the powder coater. It's out the back, the gun out the back there and set it up. But basically what we do, this stuff here, because it's been sitting for a couple of days, it actually has a very, very light coating of rust on it. You can see, because as soon as this stuff gets sandblasted, you can see very carefully, it just starts to oxidize up pretty quickly, starts to rust again. So we will chuck it all back through the sandblaster one more time, just to give it a quick coating. These are some new parts here, pulley, the oil this is actually an aftermarket one because i couldn't find an original one but made a chap in finland i think makes these and they're pretty damn good i tell you but we're going to just scuff this up so that the powder will stick to it same with the pulley we'll get that done so we'll just quickly go through a few of these bits i've also got some other suspension componentry for the brazilian bus the yellow one which you guys would have seen in here we're doing an irs conversion on that at a later stage so there's some 68 bay window rear hubs there that we're going to get powder coated as well so let's get cracking we'll start we'll just do a quick blasting in the cabinet i won't show you that because you've seen it before and then we'll get these guys hung and we'll get them powder coated let's do it right oven's on and let's start doing some powder coating we have our machine ready to rock and roll we've got the powder and the hopper down there and we're just going to start with this heater box here we're going to rotate that around and give that a a coating and then we'll just go through all the parts let's do it
Right, I will leave that in and I'll bring you guys back in in a second. A few moments later. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what. Rocket covers look good. Beautiful. Yeah, all the tinware. Bloody perfect. Yeah. Boxes. I don't see any blemishes or any weirdnesses, which is good. We still have more parts to do, but that's really all I could get on the rack for a one-shot deal and I am pretty happy with that. This thing's glowing red hot and on a cold night, we're looking good, no problems. Everything looks properly coated. Happy, 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 happy. So we are gonna let those things cool down and tomorrow, it's getting late, it's uh, almost quarter to eight. I've gotta go up and have dinner. I've been, I've been summoned by the wife, so we'll turn all this off. Some good, nice satin powder coated parts that satin's perfect too we're going to do another lot in a minute you got it's going to be time lapse for you guys so see you in a second <laughs> right hey so round two we have the next set of componentry ready to go uh, these ones here because they're going to have obviously the bearings inside them we need to make sure the powder doesn't get in there and also in these threads here so a couple of ways you can do it i've got a special high temperature uh, powder coating tape so we can just tape up the front and back of that to stop the powder getting in there. As for these uh, two here that have threads on them, um, I've got a little container here of silicon uh, plugs. You can see just a various different amounts of plugs. So we just find the appropriate one, probably this size will do. Yeah, there you go, perfect. So you just slot that in like that and that'll just pr uh, protect our threads. Pop that one in here as well. And do that to the other two as well. All these, oh yeah, there's a couple more threads over on that. So we'll just go swap over to the small ones for these ones here. So yeah, that's basically what we've got to do there. These ones are almost ready to go. Uh, the other parts that were done, you can have a look here at just some of the pieces just out in the in the, in the you can see how good they came up very nice indeed nice and professional that's kind of what you want there's that one same deal and the rest, all the rest of these tinware as well so yeah happy with that stuff with the uh, powder basically yeah 10 minutes at 200 degrees so it's got a cure it actually does have to get up to temperature Normally with these components now, I will put them in the oven and heat them up to 200 before I put any powder on them. And that'll just burn off any impurities on the surface of the metal so that you're getting a good clean surface. So sandblast, then I go and put brake clean. I'll just spray brake clean on these um, as a final clean and then uh, put them in the oven, just get them up to temperature drop them back out of here, let them cool down, and then and then coat them. And then it just means you're going to get a, a lot better finish out of the product. So let's uh, plug the rest of these holes up and continue.
Okay, so, uh, yeah, looking very good. No issues with the tinware. Not seeing any bubbles or any streaky weirdnesses or drips or... Uh, I think we're doing good. I think we are doing good. That's one more batch done. Now we still do have a few more parts to do. We have to do the exhaust. We've got the heater boxes to do, exhaust, and we've still got the fan shroud, which I just want to see if I can pull out a bit more of these dints. So we might just do that next, and then we can get this one ready uh, to, to go in just for the satin. Looking good. All right, let's continue. Okay, we are on to the fan shroud dints that we are going to try to uh, pull out using my little dent pull, stud puller dent puller whatever you want to call it i don't know if this is going to work we'll just give it a go but you know there's a couple of pretty big there's a nice big one there there's a big one there there's a big one there there's a nice big one there another big one down there i don't know it's just a bit of an experiment uh yeah let's see if it works Yeah, I pulled that out. So I think it doesn't like the heavy metal, but if we go to the side here, that might work. Yeah, it's raising them slowly. Okay, I think that'll do it. Let's go chuck her back in the sandblaster and get her ready for a uh, Coating. Guys, so we're just working on the exhaust now, uh, trying to knock a few of these dints out. A little bit more in the middle. One right here. Better. They're not going to be perfect, but that's all right. That one there's a bit of a walloper. That too. It's really just taking out the, the worst of them. They're pretty good. Um, I think that one there is probably the worst of them. Let's see if we can get a bit more of that out of the middle. Not better. All right, that'll do it. Let's uh, clean her up, give it another sandblast, and uh, get her hung up, ready to go. Okay, guys. So we're on to the last powder coated componentry. You can see I've already done the steering column, fan shroud, this exhaust tip. We're going to do in gloss black, and now we're going to do the heater boxes and muffler. And they're going to be done in the high temp muffler black high temp 650 celsius cure at 235 at 20 minutes so that's what we're doing now so we've got our hopper all charged up let's get exhaust bits and pieces done A few moments later. Let's pull this thing out of the oven and see how we went. I need to put two pairs of gloves on because the oven is extremely hot <laughs> and the welding gloves plus the TIG welding gloves <laughs> is what I've got. Okay, let's go. Have a closer look here. Steering column's good, no problems with that. 
uh, a little bit patchy just there it's just behind that thing didn't quite get it but that's all right the gloss came out fantastic so i thought i'd do the tip gloss they're obviously supposed to be a matte mattish color um yeah that came out good no problems with that and also the fan shroud came out really good too yeah awesome and that pretty much is the last of the parts that need to be powder coated all done and dusted we will let these things cool down and then we can uh, store them away until they're ready to get assembled uh, one more thing have a look at this awesome little medical box that i got from mark from air cult berlin you guys should go and check his channel out subscribe it's in German, but if you put the auto translate on, you can understand what he's talking about. But yeah, he sent me this over, and mate, this thing is awesome. Check it out; it's it's actually really heavy too. So uh, great little medical box, and it's exactly the right colour for the Krankenwagen. So that's um, much appreciated, mate. Uh, sending that over because that'll I'm not even going to paint. Obviously, I'm going to just leave it exactly as it is and that can uh, go in the back next to the other medical supplies that i'll have to try and get for it but that is a really awesome find yeah cheers mate uh all right guys well that'll probably do it for this episode thanks for the new subscribers too guys i really appreciate it you know we're slowly getting up there it's a niche market this v-dub stuff so it, it, you're never going to get a million subscribers doing this sort of stuff who cares i don't i'm just having fun you guys are coming along for the journey and we'll see you in the next episode